You know, what is your secondary gain for being confused about whether or not to leave medicine? You get to stay, right? You get to continue on the path that you're on. You get income. It could be any of these things. I'm Helena, a former NHS doctor turned life coach. Since leaving medicine and starting my coaching business, I've worked with clients internationally to help them transform their mindset so they can be, do or have anything they desire. And in the process, I have created my own dream life too. If you're ready to take the reins on your one precious life and level up with me, you have come to the right place. Hi my loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Helena and I'm a life coach and former NHS doctor. I now primarily help disenfranchised doctors to figure out their next steps inside or outside of medicine through my coaching business. And today I am creating a video especially for that demographic. So if you're a doctor who's thinking about leaving medicine or you're considering alternative careers and you're trying to get clarity around what your next steps are, you're in the right place and I prepared this video just for you. Today I'm recording a quick impromptu video for you and this is on three questions that you can ask yourself if you're thinking about leaving medicine. The reason why I have chosen to do a video on this topic is because I found that in my coaching and working with clients, questions are one of the most powerful if not the most powerful ways to get your mind to focus on something and create a solution. Many people will tell you that the quality of your life is determined by the quality of the questions that you ask yourself and this is something that I also share with my clients in my coaching process. However sometimes we don't even know what questions to ask ourselves and that is why I made this video for you guys today. I also want to let you know that on the 28th of March which is a Tuesday I'm going to be running another clarity clinic workshop for doctors thinking of leaving medicine. I ran a couple of these previously and I got amazing feedback and amazing results for the people who attended. So I've decided to run another workshop and this time it is new content, it is new material. So if you attended the last one, this will still be helpful and powerful for you. But it is more focused on reconnecting with you and your core values. This is work that I do with my coaching clients. It is an amazing opportunity if you've never done anything like this before to attend the workshop and get that kind of content for free so I would really recommend signing up I will put a link down below in the bio of this YouTube video you could also sign up for it via my website helenabridge.com all right my love so to get the most out of these questions I recommend that if you're a visual learner you use them as journaling prompts and then you get out a pen and paper and you write your response and you read it back to yourself if you are an oral learner as in you learn by speaking and thinking through things then I would recommend you pause the video at each question and answer it out loud and reason with yourself and talk through until you figure out the answer and obviously questions don't work unless you do you have to answer them in order to get your self results and if you're motivated and driven these will help you a lot okay so let's get into the first question the first question is if you continued on the trajectory that you're currently on how would you feel about your life in one year's time I'm going to repeat the question if you were to continue on the trajectory you're currently on how would you feel about your life in one year's time now this question can be so super telling. For some people, there will be an immediate heart sink, immediate disappointment, and an immediate feeling of, oh my God, F-U-C-K, I do not want to be on the same path in a year's time. And guess what? Effing awesome. That is so much information. That is so much subconscious and emotional data and feedback that your brain and body is giving you to tell you that you are not connected to the path that you're on how invaluable. Now, if you do feel yourself latching onto that future and finding that that is a romantic future to you and there's some excitement there, then consider that maybe you are on the right track. Maybe this is the path for you and that there are some things that you might need to adjust, but that the overall path and the overall route that you're on is the one for you. Another thing that makes this question valuable is because continuing in medicine is going to be your default, okay? It's easier to stay on the same track it's easier to continue doing a job that you're already doing and that you're already on the route of and not change anything but if you have strongly negative emotions towards it it is really time to consider your options okay it is really time to step into your life and take responsibility for it you only get to live this life 
once and if you're a doctor you will know life is just way too short okay so don't waste it okay now the second question that i want to ask you is one that i've been asked by many different people in many different words and many different capacities but here's the way that i word it for you is it the setting that's not working for you right now or is it medicine itself and kenji dr kenji who has his own youtube channel asked me this very question when he was asking me about my reasons for leaving medicine when i refer to the setting of medicine i'm talking about is it the team you're working in the hospital you're working in the rotation you're working on the deanery is it something like the nhs system itself What's not working for you? Is it the fact that you can't get your annual leave requests approved? Is it these things that are the setting and the system that you're in? Or is it medicine? Is it working with patients, the nature of disease, the severity of the things that you're dealing with in your, in your day-to-day basis? Is it medicine? or is it the setting? And I know there's overlap between the two, but get really, really clear on this and consider exactly what it is that's not working and what's bugging you right now. When Kenji asked me this question, I did realize that it wasn't medicine. And to be fair, I don't think it ever was medicine. I find actual medicine fascinating and I like putting everything together. It was more about the system. It was more about the rotor, the stress, the pressure, the rate at which I was expected to work and the conditions under which I was expected to work that were crippling for me and if you can take stock of this if you can understand that maybe it's the setting you can start to look at options in which you practice medicine in a different setting and you can watch my video on alternative options for doctors which I think will come up on one of these sides of me right now but if it's medicine itself then it's time to look even broader it's time to look even wider and think even bigger and figure out what could work for you and what is even possible for you. The final question that I have to ask you, which is a really interesting question, is what are you pretending not to know? And you might be like, excuse me, what am I pretending not to know? I, I don't know, I'm just confused. Okay, I thought that too. And the truth is that I needed to ask myself this question because I full well knew what I wanted to do. Okay, when I was still a doctor, I knew I wanted to leave, but I didn't want to hear that answer from myself. I didn't want to acknowledge that maybe I was on the wrong track and that all my decisions leading up into F1 might have been not me in alignment and not the ultimate path for me that would make me happy. And I take radical responsibility for that and that's where I am, where I am right now. But I want you to ask yourself, what are you pretending not to know? Is your fear about leaving medicine masking itself as logic? Are you suppressing your intuition? Are you pretending that you don't know what you want because it's easier to stay in this zone of indecision? You know, what is your secondary gain for being confused about whether or not to leave medicine? You get to stay, right? You get to continue on the path that you're on, you get income. It could be any of these things, but that is a really powerful question to ask yourself. Okay, so those are my questions for you today. Three questions, they should have been pretty quick fire. I hope that you get something really interesting out of answering these questions. And I would love to see what you guys thought in the comments down below. And if those questions got the ball rolling for you, but you're still not sure and you still want more guidance, more clarity, don't forget about my free workshop, which I will be hosting on Tuesday, the 28th of March. It'll be in the evening at 7 p.m. British time, England time, GMT is the one, is the one that I'm referring to. Um, so please do sign up to that if you're interested and you really want to get results for yourself and figure out what your best next steps might be. I'm telling you life is too short. You guys know life is too short. So take life by the reins and I will see you next time. Okay. Bye guys. Bye.